about 10,000 million years ago in a galaxy called the Milky Way. Clouds of gas were merging into condensation along the spiraling arms. In one of the arms, far away from the center of the galaxy, one such clump of gas formed and grew in size by attracting more and more of gas and dust. A star was formed in the center about 4,500 million years ago and a disk of debris circled the newborn star. The sun is pitted with craters like the one in Arizona or the one in India, the famous Lonar Lake in Maharashtra or the Monica Bagan structure in Quebec. But we don't see as many craters on the Earth now as we see on the Moon. That is because, just like the Moon, the thick, bright clouds on the planet do not allow us to see any of its land features as we peer at it through our telescopes. Let us look at Mercury with our modest telescope. And yes, it shows phases too. These were some of the amazing observations first made by telescopes that led to our understanding of the structure of our solar system. If these planets are revolving around the Sun and not the Earth, as thought in ancient ideas about the universe, then the phases seen of the inner planets, Mercury and Venus, are easy to understand. When opposite to the Earth, beyond the Sun, Venus is seen small and fully lit up by the Sun. Mars can be seen from the Earth. Sometimes we see the faint polar ice cap hinting a similarity with the Earth. We can also see the river-like features on the surface. About a hundred years ago, these were erroneously believed to be canals, built by the little green men on Mars to irrigate their fields. Look at Jupiter through a telescope. The four, at least thrice the diameter of planet Earth. Imagine a storm that has lasted these 400 years. You don't need any help to identify this object.